Hello and welcome to another AIC video. Today we're finally going to be doing some gaming on the AMD Athlon Silver processor. Uh, so this is an HP laptop and I did a couple other videos about it, but the focus isn't necessarily on the laptop itself. It's on that CPU and the performance that it provides for the price. Uh, this laptop and CPU competes very closely price-wise with the AMD Celeron line. Uh, I've done some videos on those on the N4020, and this is very similar in the fact that it's a, a, a two-core, two-thread processor with integrated graphics. Uh, however, this is upgradable, and one of the things I did when I first got it is I ha did upgrade the memory on here to 12 gigs, so it came with four, and I added an eight gig DIMM, and then also uh, it has an M.2 slot, which is compatible with NVMe storage. So I've increase that as well to a 256 gig Sobrent drive. You can see that here. And I have loaded that up with some games. <laughs> see, I've used 80% of it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play some games on this system. So I have hardware monitor open. I'll go ahead and clear the min max and we will open up some games, see how our performance is. I also have fraps running in the background so we can see what our uh, FPSs are. So let's go ahead and first start off with Minecraft. Now with Minecraft, the thing I've noticed with this game mostly, as we go ahead and load it up here, is that when I first load the game, it seems to take a, a while to kind of load all the assets in, and it is real choppy while it's doing that. But after I'm in the game for a couple of minutes, it seems to run just fine. I'll show you that here in just a moment. Now I do have full screen on on this. I find that it, on these systems it does run better with full screen and we'll do a creative world let's do a creating a new world so i, I do notice an improved uh, gameplay with uh, having it be full screen versus windowed uh, just because it doesn't seem like it's having to do other stuff in the background uh, another thing you'll notice that it's very light here and dark up along here uh, this is a reflective screen, so I had to turn the lights off in my office. Otherwise, all you would see is me because that's what my camera focuses on. That's not a laptop issue. That's a camera issue. I have a pretty old camera, and it doesn't do well uh, videoing glossy screens. And so I can't see that gradient to my eyes. It's all the same. Uh, so now we're in a new world. We're in creative. As you can see, it does take a few moments to load everything in. And we're getting single digit frames. Now, you see, as soon as everything's loaded in, it bumps right up. Let me give it a few more moments. While we're waiting for everything to load up, I'll show you what we have for our settings, video settings. Obviously, this is a low end system, so we're not going to have everything turned to max. Render distance, we have the five chunks. Graphics is fast. Uh, smooth lighting is off. Clouds are off. Particles are minimal. Uh, full screen is on. As I said, I, I t t seem to get better uh, performance by going to full screen. Go back to game and see we're in 100 frames a second. Now that it's had a chance to kind of load stuff in, when we move around, it's still in that 100 frames a second, 90 frames a second. So it's it runs really well once it kind of has a chance to kind of load everything into memory, I guess. Uh, I don't know if there's something I can do to improve the memory, whether I need to go with like a dual channel setup where I have two matching DIMMs. I just happen to have an 8 gig DIMM uh, sitting around, so I decided to use it. Uh, it was bright. The other thing you'll notice is, I don't know if you can hear it at all uh, through my mic, but I can just barely hear the fan. It is not spinning up. It's not going crazy. And so I don't feel like it's going to overheat at all. Sometimes when I run these, I feel kind of bad for the system. Uh, I feel like they thermal throttle quite hard because they are pushing themselves to run uh, games. But with the, how quiet the fan is running, and we'll check temperatures in here in just a moment, I don't feel like it is uh, pushing the machine or going to thermal throttle at all. But uh, yeah, again, this is some of the best performance I've had in this game on any of these low-end systems that I have. Uh, tested before so you know we're, we're sticking in that 90 to 105 frames a second for the most part so let's go ahead we'll 
drop some. I click the right one. No. Uh, oh, it's here. Here we go. Well, let's do a bunch of. Just a bunch of creatures here. Let's see. What do we want to do? We'll just do some villagers. See what that does to our frame rate. So that did reduce our frame frames a little bit, but not too bad. We're not hitting the triple digits, but we're still up in the 80 to 90 uh, frames a second. So not bad at all. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next game. All right, so after Minecraft, we're getting about 70, 70 degrees C maxing out. That's really good. It means it's able to keep itself uh, nice and cool. The next game that we will play is Fall Guys. All right, and once again, I am not very good at Fall Guys, so you'll have to excuse my terrible gameplay. And I'm also doing it kind of through a camera. So. Alright, that sure took a while to find uh, players. So I just have the settings set on default. Uh, whatever it decided was best for me, that's what it is set to. You can check that after I die. I uh, just want to see, you know, if you just load up the game, what it gives you as far as frames. It looks like we were able to stay uh, so far almost to 60 frames a second. So very respectable. Uh, this is a little bit lower just because there's a lot of people around us in the 40 frames. But I would still consider that to be pretty reasonable. Uh, I am not using a control. I'm using a keyboard and I'm not very good with the keyboard at all. So... I do not expect to do very well here uh, in the slightest. Just taking my time. Nope. I don't know how to dive without using a controller. Oh, what key was that? Oh, that's E. All right. Cool. There we go. That'll make things a little bit easier. Being able to dive. Oh, missed it. All right. And like I said, I'm not trying to be competitive. I'm literally screwing up on purpose on this one because... Uh, I am not expecting to do great. I was mostly going for the gameplay, and I think this game is extremely playable on a lot of systems, but especially this one. We're getting in that 40 frames a second with the different stuff that's going on. Uh, it's pretty respectable uh, frame rates. I'm not feeling any lag, so that's a big thing. Like I can deal with some uh, lower frame rates, if I'm not feeling lag. In a lot of games, I'm able to, oh, I'm able to uh, play the game uh, at higher frame rates, but I just, the input lag and stuff like that just makes the game nearly unplayable. It's kind of ridiculous how bad it can be, uh, simply based off of uh, something as simple as that input lag. And I'm just not getting that here. Like when I click the jump button, I jump. When I click the dive button, I dive. When I turn left or right with the mouse, um, I can, you know, I don't feel like I'm having to wait for it to respond. And that's probably the best thing I can say about it. It's just that it's, it's able to handle the, both the frames and the input on my end to make the game enjoyable. Now, would I use this to, for competitive online streaming? No. Uh, but if you're on a tight budget and you can only afford one basic computer, this definitely should be an option. It's, it's cheaper than a lot of the used computers I would normally recommend. 
uh, while having pretty darn good performance. So I can't can't complain too much. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Uh, people are really sucking today. Normally <laughs> I would think that I would be uh, disqualified by now. Come on, people. There we go. Finally eliminated. All right. Alrighty, so I wanted to show you the uh, graphics here. So go to settings, options. We just have preset as custom. Uh, resolution is native to the screen. Windowed is off. VSync is on. Texture detail full res. Shadow detail medium. Motion blur off. Uh, bloom on. Depth of field off. Ambient uh, on none. Anti aliasing low. So, yeah. Things are, uh, that's just what it's set to basically uh, from the outset. And 71 degrees this time, so got just a degree warmer. And we will play two more games. Next one we will do is uh, Fortnite, since I know that's probably a popular one that people will ask me about if I do not play it. All right, so we're finally loading into uh, a solo uh, battle royale. Hopefully this will be fine. I did play this a couple of times on here. Uh, I'm, again, not very good, so don't expect greatness. But we were able to play it uh, quite reliably. Now, we don't get the best frame rate in this game, especially when we're around a lot of other people. Let's go to settings. We'll bump that up to 60 frames a second. Apply. All right. It was stuck at 30 frames a second. We bumped it up to 60. Uh, see if we can get a little bit better feel in the game. And it is get able to get above that 30 frames a second. It's hitting 40 frames a second or so. And as we land and we get less stuff in view, we are getting closer to that 60 frames. So that's pretty decent. Obviously, the graphics quality is pretty low. Um, it's lower the resolution. It's uh, and texture quality and all that stuff is pretty low. But nothing I uh, could complain about too much. And once again, the most important thing for me, outside of the texture quality, because I'm not expecting it to be great, is the fact that it's uh, not lagging. So that's that to me is probably one of the most frustrating things is when, you know, you go to do something and it just lags to the point where, you know, you're going to die just because. Just because you've tried to do your best and, you know, you can't get any response out of the system.
Yeah. Awesome. All right, that's good enough. Leave match. So I wouldn't try to be a professional with this system, but if you're just casually playing, I definitely think it is an option. And the last game that we will play is GTA 5. So let's go ahead and load that up here. I will not be playing online just because that can take forever to load. All right, so we have loaded into the game and found a car, or my car, I guess. And we are going to try driving it. Now, the big thing that I've noticed on other systems, like the HP Elite Book that I upgraded the CPU to a Core i7 on, uh, I could get okay frame rates out of it, but the input lag was just horrendous and I, let me tell you this is so much better like we're only getting 30 frames per second the modeling is extremely low quality uh you know the graphics are low um, everything is low but we're getting 30 frames per second and my input is i'm just going back and forth and my input is so much better it doesn't make me any better of a uh, driver at all but it uh Yeah, it doesn't make me a better driver in the slightest, but uh, I definitely uh, have don't have the input lag I was experiencing with the other systems I've tested. So I'm definitely uh, pretty happy with that. So again, I wouldn't I wouldn't try to be competitive, but if this was all you had, then it might be might be worth it, you know. So. There you go. So I definitely would play with a controller over using the keyboard and mouse. But as far as just overall playability, very acceptable. Very acceptable. Uh, yeah, very. I'm. Every time I use this system, I am more and more impressed with the quality of graphics it can produce. Now this is one thing, it does take, if you're moving too fast, it does take a minute to load in new assets, but it doesn't struggle that bad. You get decent frame rates. You're not getting the la input lag that I've experienced on a lot of other systems. So, I mean, definitely, definitely an option if this is all you can afford. So I have a feeling like that a lot of laptops with this CPU in them are going to be made available for the holidays and so i definitely think if it's under that 300 dollars mark it's a solid buy for me if it's over 300 dollars, then you're getting into money where you can buy a pretty decent used system that would be better um, and possibly even uh, a new system that would be better with maybe the athlon gold or a an intel uh, pentium so Anyways, if you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, leave those down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.